Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, Trev here again. Just bringing you a video of my render settings on uh, Cinema 4D. When I first got Cinema 4D, I I didn't know any good render settings, so I just thought I would bring you what mine are. So I uh, just bring up your Cinema 4D. Oops. Okay. So yeah, bring up your Cinema 4D. Click on your Renders setting button right here. And then for my general, just have full render. This should be all the same for you guys. Output, I have my output by nine, I mean, sorry, 1920 by uh, 1200. It's just one of the presets. If you just go to, if you click this button here, screen, and then you drop down to uh, it right here. There you go. And then all these numbers should be the same once you. Uh, got these numbers in there so for my save this is probably a common sense here saving just name it as something and click the dot 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 to where you ever you want to save it for I usually do pictures so my format is a JPEG and for JPEG you also just want to click this options button here and change your uh, quality to 100% it's usually at 95 but make it go to 100 and then f for like animations and stuff I usually do uh, AVI movie that that's kinda obvious as well but that's what I do I uh, hold up yeah okay yeah for this the multi pass nothing there anti anti elsing yeah so for pictures I choose I put mine at best and change my min level to uh, 4x4 and max level 4x4. Just get rid of those jagged edges sometimes you get on pictures. And then uh, options, I usually keep these all. You can pause the video and take a look. Just make sure yours is all the same here. Also what I like to do on pictures, I've done this in my previous videos, let's go to effect. Advent Illusion, Multi Pass, go to Global Illumination, and that will just make your picture look a lot better with shadows and better reflections. And then uh, you're pretty much set from there. That's that's my uh, render settings. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, peace.